Hello and welcome back. So in this chapter, we will talk about the design patterns. So what are these design patterns and how they are useful for us as a gameplay programmer. So in simple term, design patterns, it's a typically solution. It's a solution for problem that you will face in programming. So it's a, it's a template solution. It's a pre-made blueprint that can solve your problem in programming. So it, in software engineering, every software engineer out there uh, designing and programming and building a full program know these design patterns. They know all of them and they use maybe 90% of them. So they are a certain patterns that can solve your problem. In general, you will face many problems in, in, in programming. So these, the solution you can find and solve your problem. So there are many software and design patterns, but as a gameplay programmer, you won't be, you, you will not talk about uh, every design pattern because you won't need them all. So uh, the most common one, we will talk about that. But uh, keep in mind in uh, this uh, design pattern, it's not an A solution for an A problem. And it's not just a copy and paste code from any website you can take that code and okay let me copy that and paste it in my code it's not like that it's it's a solution it's it's a template solution a blueprint solution that you can you can keep in your mom, your mind and solve your problem it, this is it the design pattern so the design patterns we will talk about is the singleton design pattern and, and how this will be useful for us and instantiate a single class and it will be the one instance of class and every every class in the in the project can talk to us we will talk about the state design pattern now how it's useful for us the observer design pattern is super useful we will talk about the component design pattern and how it's useful for open and close principles open for open for extension and close for modification how you, you can extend your class and make it more consistent and and sustainable we will talk about the command design patterns and how it can be used in RTS games most likely on RTS games and card games in our situation uh, as a gameplay programmer We will talk about the flyweight design patterns the flyweight design patterns and how can it solve? Our memory and save our resources on the computer. We will talk about the object pool design patterns It's also a useful one. So all these design patterns We I will won't talk about all these design patterns. We will I will talk about these specific design patterns We will see how can the engine how the engine itself is using these design patterns plus we can use this uh, use some of them to solve our problems and save uh, resources and make our code more consistent and module and we can extend this code later on so uh, and you know, we have a two website I, I want to show you we have uh, I have the two website refactoring.guru this one is very useful he discussed every design pattern all of the design patterns so even he have a book so this, this is a use very useful website so if I go there and go to the catalog I can he catalog these design patterns and as a three catalog uh, creation of structure on behavior all these design patterns we can, even he make a picture for example if i go to the singleton i go he, he discussing discussing and talking about the singleton on with all these images and talk about the problem what caused this what this design pattern to be created this is the cause of the problem so this design patterns solve this problem so um, he put all these images and examples plus the pseudocode and also give an example in all these languages so all i'm interesting is in c++ i can go to the c++ and go and see this code in generally most of these design patterns as in this website is not game programming related but it's useful to you can get these all this code and convert that to your knowledge for example a single thing you make a certain class in your mind as a gameplay programmer and talk to it so you can convert this in your mind so another website is 
Game Programming Patterns.com is it's uh, a book by Robert Nystrom and he made this book I believe it's just in C++ so all the code he have as a PDF you can a free uh, I can yeah you can buy that you can buy that on Amazon it's a, a good book and he uh, talking about all these design patterns these all these, these design patterns that are very useful for us in the game programming world so these are the design patterns it's a pre-made template solution that can be used to solve our problem so every software engineer know these design patterns maybe they use 90 percent of them but as a gameplay programmer we won't use them all we will use the singleton state observer component command flyweight object pool some of these components are actually it's already there in the engine i will show you in these videos and some of them we will make so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video